Only qualified personnel should service and install HVAC appliances and accessories. See product manual for details. This video will demonstrate how to calculate subcooling on a residential central air conditioner and diagnose possible issues. The following tools are recommended to have on hand when servicing an HVAC appliance, the product manual, an adjustable wrench, a cyclometer, a thermometer, refrigeration gauges, either analog or digital, and all appropriate PPE. Before you begin, check the metering device to identify whether you have a piston or thermal expansion valve, known as a TXV. If a piston is being utilized, refer to the superheat video in the top right-hand corner, as subcooling is not applicable with piston units. Once confirmed you have a TXV, you must measure static pressure in order to ensure the baseline operation of the furnace is within an acceptable range. See the video in the top right-hand corner on how to calculate static pressure. Next, ensure that the appropriate fan speed is set up according to the product's installation manual. Once the correct fan speed has been confirmed, locate the condenser coil outside the home and identify what kind of refrigerant is in the system by locating the rating plate. Identify the suction line and liquid line leading to and from the AC. Remove the service valve caps from either line and attach your refrigerant gauges, being careful not to lose a lot of refrigerant in the process. Now head inside, turn on the AC, and allow it to run for at least 10 minutes. This allows the pressures to stabilize. Measure and record the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant at the liquid line using refrigeration gauges and thermometer leads. The temperature is known as liquid line leaving temperature. Use a refrigerant pressure chart to convert the liquid line pressure into condenser saturation temperature. To calculate subcooling, take the liquid line leaving temperature and subtract the condenser saturation temperature. Consult the chart in the manual or on the rating plate to ensure the subcooling temperature is correct. If the subcooling measurement is too high, the fan speed is set incorrectly, or there is an overcharge of refrigerant in the cooling system. If so, remove the refrigerant to obtain the correct temperature. If the subcooling measurement is too low, the fan speed is set incorrectly, or there is an undercharge of refrigerant in the cooling system. If so, add refrigerant to obtain the correct temperature. Regardless of a high or low subcooling value, ensure that the system, including the filter, ductwork, and coils, are clean and free of obstructions and debris. After making any adjustments to the refrigerant levels, make sure to retest and ensure the AC system is operating correctly before leaving it with your customer. After each service or installation is complete, fill out the commissioning sheet or service history table within the product manual. This ensures there is a record of the operating parameters with the appliance at all times. Click here to view the Wolf Steel Technical YouTube page. Like and subscribe to our channel to get notifications for new product and troubleshooting videos.